All right, one thing drivers in Wisconsin are thankful for are low gas prices. Those prices are fueling the Thanksgiving travel. Yeah, more than a million Wisconsinites have already hit the highway or are expected to do that in the next few hours. As Ann Sterling shows you, the rush at Mitchell never materialized. The rush to get home for the holiday starts today. But at Mitchell International, nobody's dashing to get to their flight. So far, no problem whatsoever. Across the country, about 49 million people will be trekking at least 50 miles to eat a feast with family and friends. According to AAA, that's the highest number of travelers since 2007. Passengers at Mitchell arrived early this morning in anticipation of the scurry. But after finding no lines, many ended up passing the time on their smartphone or by taking a nap. I thought I was dreaming. Samantha Cottrell and her family are heading to Disney for Thanksgiving. It's going to be 80 there compared to 30, 40 here, so that's good news. The Watertown family is breaking away from tradition and heading south. It's the family's first trip to Florida. They thought they were going up to grab and grandma's for Thanksgiving and uh, just surprised them on the way, way, way here this morning. AAA forecasts nearly 4 million Americans will fly over the Thanksgiving holiday. But for those driving to see grandma, you're paying some of the lowest gas prices in nearly a decade. What I'm really looking forward to is seeing my mom. It's a really special trip. Um, he's about 21 months old and he has not met my mom yet. Getting there is only half the battle. According to the navigation app Waze, the worst day to travel back is Sunday between the hours of 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Ann Sterling, today's TMJ4. All right, Ann, thanks. And we just checked Mitchell International's website and flights both out and into Milwaukee are on time except for one flight to LaGuardia in New York City. So good luck out there. Yeah.